Hello, everybody. Welcome to MUS 292. My name is Jasmine Henry, and I'm your instructor for the semester. It was a pleasure meeting you during our first live synchronous lecture, and I'm excited to present these videos to help supplement the asynchronous part of our class. So without further ado, let's hop into the very first topic of the class. All right, so last week we introduced this idea of music being an important and essential part of social life. This idea comes from our course textbook, Music as Social Life, The Politics of Participation, by Thomas Torino, an ethnomusicologist based out of the University of Illinois. So what we're going to focus on for the duration of the semester is how music is a social process. It's an everyday part of our social life. It goes way beyond just pure entertainment value, and it shapes the structure of our societies, and our societies shape the structure of the musical practices. What we also talked about last class was Gregory Bateson's theories, the anthropologist, about music and its evolutionary potential, the idea that we need it for survival. Because if you remember, music is what helps us build communities and bring social groups together. And social groups are what we need to survive economically, ecologically, we need to stick together to survive the, the rough elements, the dangerous predators and threats to our human existence. And music plays an essential role in building communities and sustaining them. We also touched on the idea of getting into a flow state, and this being one of the key reasons people keep seeking out musical experiences and activities. The idea of the flow state is that if we are involved in activities where our skill level matches the challenge level at hand, we can end up getting into an out-of-body state where we feel like we transcend ourselves and we're out of time and we get lost in that moment. We get lost in the musical experience of, of playing or dancing or any type of activity, right? We could enter a flow state if we're studying and we have a really productive studying session. All right, and then the other thing we talked about last class was music and identity. How music helps us understand who we are and it helps us understand who we are among other people in our communities um, and in the larger scale of history and time and place. Music helps us understand the different parts of our identity too, right? Because as human beings, we're not just one singular fixed identity. We're a lot of things. We're sons, daughters, mothers, fathers, uh, students at some points in times, teachers at other times. Music is a way for us to negotiate all these various identity positions we have. And then also to identify with others. Right? Through our sameness, our musical habits, and common knowledge, we can also feel a sense of synchronicity, right? oneness with others through musical performance and experience, the idea that we can move in sound and synchrony. So these are some of the key topics that we ended up talking about last class, and we'll continue to build off of these key topics. So please make sure you review those, um, ask questions if you don't understand. Okie dokes. So for this week, we're going to go over just the basic idea of what music is and what meaning it has, right? So specifically, we'll talk about different conceptions of music around the world and the particular conceptions, right, ways of thinking about music that we use as ethnomusicologists. We'll also talk about music fundamentals, just what makes up music. When you hear a sound, what is that? We'll talk about the very basics, such as sound, pitch, rhythm, dynamics, that all add up into pieces of musical information that help us identify different genres, styles, um, and people and practices and habits that people use to make music. And finally, for this week, We'll talk about the system of meaning, how we, how we draw meaning from musical experiences and how we communicate that meaning. 
and this system is specifically named semiotics. At the end of this module, there are a couple of videos that will introduce you to semiotics ahead of our um, synchronous lecture that will occur later in the week. So enjoy. <laughs>